Call to action to stop gun violence, this time from the perspective of Durham students. Hillside High School is preparing to put on a play that is going to tackle that very issue. CBS 17's Nick Sturdivant is live outside of Hillside uh, tonight for us. And Nick, although this play has been in the works before uh, this recent shooting, it really now takes on a whole new sense of urgency. Well, Rod and Angela, students here at Hillside High School, describing this week to me as tough, but they told me it is important to get their message out to the community. Rehearsals are underway here at Hillside High School in Durham. I would say I'm a little nervous for sure. Um, I just want to make sure it's right. As students prepare for opening night for the show, State of Urgency. State of Urgency is a call to action to stop gun violence. And the students are addressing a lot of social justice issues. Um, it's a balance between what we realize is beautiful and good and what we realize is needs to change. Tiffany Agerson, the school's theater director, says students have been preparing for weeks. Knowing that this message needs to be told to our community makes it a lot easier for us to um, portray. The message hitting close to home this week. Two Hillside High students were shot on the American Tobacco Trail near campus. One of the students, a 17-year-old, died. The other, a 15-year-old, injured. After that incident, a question that's been going through my head this whole week is... If our play was maybe a week sooner, would the events have played out differently? It really hits home for me and so many others. Um, I lost my brother in 2019 to gun violence here in the city of Durham. Um, and because of that, we weren't able to honor him in a way that says, you know, we remember you and we love you. But the students giving us an opportunity to do that, giving every family an opportunity to be seen has been major. They hope the play can both heal and educate. Even though that happened, we are overcoming it by performing and, yeah, putting it all on the stage. Hey, you guys, we got a chance to sit through a run through of the play, and all I can say is that play is powerful. Now, the first performance is open to the public begin next Friday, starting at 7.15 p.m. Live in Durham tonight, Nick Sturdivant, CBS 17 News. All right, Nick, thank you.